Okay, all right everybody. This is how we refill a Pentel pocket brush pen. So this brush pen is out of ink. It's got some residue from some water where I cleaned it out. You can see how to clean one of these in the video link below. So how do I refill this thing? Pretty simple. First step, you need ink that is technical pen friendly. That way it doesn't clog up your Pentel brush, brush pen or it doesn't clog it up as quickly. Again, in the previous video, over time, some of these brush pens I've been using probably off and on for 10 years and I honestly don't know that I ever cleaned them, even really thought about it. I would just get frustrated when the ink wouldn't flow. So I learned how to clean them. Take it apart. This is an empty ink cartridge. Obviously, there's no ink flowing out of it. So this is how I do it. Technical friendly ink. These are actual ink cartridges that are expensive. So getting rid of that, we're going to figure out a way to do it inexpensively. So this is just a clip, something to hold my pen with so I don't spill ink, ink everywhere. And you'll want an old rag, an old paper towel, something so you don't make a mess unless you don't care about making a mess on your artboard. So what I'm gonna do, open my ink bottle, pretty simple. Again, this is an ink that I like to use, Dr. P.H. Martin's Black Star Matte Ink. You test your own ink, make sure it works for you. What I'm using is a blunt syringe, oops, which I just pulled the top off of. Blunt syringe, set up my handy right. clip, take my empty cartridge, set my empty cartridge in there so I don't get ink all over my hands. And I'm going to pull in, draw up. Oh, let's try this again. I'm gonna draw about a milliliter there. And then just carefully push the ink into my cartridge. Just nice and slow. If it overflows, it's not a big, big, big deal. But again, you want ink in the cartridge. All right, so I've filled up my cartridge. I'm gonna get some ink on my fingers here, probably. Unfortunately, this cartridge is stained, so it's not clear, but you can't see how much ink is in there, but it's almost to the top. Take my pen, seat it back in there, Make sure it's nice and firmly seated. Screw this thing back together. I'm just gonna stand it up and let that ink start to flow back in. Then we'll test it out, see how it's doing. Let me show you something else I always do. This blunt syringe, it's got a bunch of ink sitting in there. So I always take just some old dirty water. It's my my pen brush cleaning water. I just put, pull some water in there and push it back through. I do that a couple times just to clean this syringe out. Again, let's see if we're there yet. It's been probably three or four minutes. Nope. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's been 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Oh yeah, we're getting some better ink flow. Okay. So there you have it. Just take a little bit of patience. Now what will happen, what I noticed is that when I clean these and rinse them out, there's water that gets caught in this reservoir. And so that'll water out your ink for a while. Here's my third pen. It'll water out your ink for a while. 
Look at that. I mean, that's that's super juicy. This is the first ink pen or the first Pentel pocket brush pen I cleaned a couple of days ago. And I've been using it for a few days. I actually refilled it a second time. And as you can see, pretty nice ink. Pretty nice ink flow. Hey, thanks everybody for watching this art video. If you like these kind of videos, unrehearsed, down to earth, how to do art on a budget, real life for people who maybe are not professional artists. Yeah, like this video, subscribe, share, check out my Instagram at David Pentecost. If you wanna see in progress work, comic book stuff I'm working on, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.